Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can load multiple objects that are related in a single data raptor. This is called the concept of multi-related object loads or link mapping in data raptors. Let's find the briefing out in the next slide. When loading data in a sequence of objects, you can propagate data directly from one object to another related object. For example, you can use a data raptor load to support an omniscript that creates an account and a contact for the account. About these fields that I have mentioned here, domain object field, linked object, linked fields, I'll be discussing in the demo itself. So let's go ahead and create a data raptor load first. Now we need to create a contact that is related to an account. So let's first create an account. And let's add another object here. That's going to be our contact. Okay. Now we need to figure out two things. First, what are the fields that are mandatory or required to create an account? and a contact. So we are already aware of the fact that for account creation we need to provide a value in the name field and for the contact it is the last name which is the mandatory field. So now we need to link the contact with the account and here it is the add link button using which you can link these two records in the data raptor loop. So click on add link. Now that we have uh, we have uh, figured out which are the mandatory fields, we also need to figure out which is the second step is uh, which field of the contact object do we need to fill out or fill in that is referring to the account object. So this also we are already aware of which is the account id and this needs to be filled up with the id that has been created in account record so we will simply write uh, let's use the drop down itself we need to link it with the id so now first the account would be created and the data raptor would be sent uh, an id from the database and this we need to link up with the account id field of the object that we are going to create now let's test it out we go to fields and in the input json let's create a dummy json uh, let's have account name here and let's have last name this is for the contact Alright, let's go to the field mapping. Now, for each object that we have added over here in the objects tab, in the fields you will be able to see different tabs related for this. So in the account, we are going to map fields. We are going to map the account name with the name. And in the contact, we are going to map. See, one of the fields has already been mapped from here the linking that we have done so you come back to fields and map the last name of the contact okay. 
okay we are almost done let's go to preview put this uh, data in for testing and let's try to execute let's see if we are getting two ids or not and as you can see two uh, one contact and one account has been created now if you go ahead and check the contact uh, you must be able to see the reference of an account they must be linked so this is our contact and if you go to related All right, this uh, yeah, you can see the account name which is X Y Z. There is something wrong with the page layout. Uh, maybe that's why this uh, related, related account is not being populated over the related tab. So let's go back and do some more changes. Let's create a related case also that refer to the account and contact. So let's add another object here this time around we are going to select case and if you just uh, go to cases and create new you would be able to see what are the mandatory fields or the required fields that need to be filled up. so you need to fill the status and then we need to fill the case origin which is basically the type and you can have a reference of the contact and count so let's go back and in the object we have added added case and let's add a link and this time we are going to link it with, uh, so in the case we have account id and uh, we have contact id so let's uh, add the contacts at the account link first and since there are two related fields we need to add another link and this time it's going to be contact id select contact and then id okay so linking part is done and let's go ahead and add some mandatory fields in the input json so we need status let's see new and then we need source and this can be web for example let's copy paste it in the preview input window and just before testing it out we need to map the fields you can see case is already here created by salesforce of Chrome studio so we need to map status with status okay then we need to map the source okay. type the api name of the source is type so we need to figure all of this in, ad in advance Okay, let's try to execute this. And the case is also created this time. So let's open all of them one by one. Let's see. So if you go to 
account x y z in the related contact you can see that is one two three this is the same contact and if you go to the case you can see that the contact is one two three and account is excited so that's how you create uh, related records in a single data after load that's it for today and thanks for watching